Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Laura with the blog ourearlyhouse.com and today I'm gonna to show you how to make a really simple DIY air freshener using wax and some essential oils. This project is really, really simple to make. All you need is some wax. Now I'm gonna be using a mixture of soy wax and beeswax. I find that if I use just beeswax, that it's harder to smell the scent of the air freshener that you wanted to smell like. And soy wax is a little bit softer, and so it makes it a little bit less durable if you're using just soy wax. So a mixture of the two works really well. But you can make this with just beeswax or just soy wax, depending on your preference. Um, so like I said, I'm gonna do a mixture of the two. And then you can pick an essential oil to give it the smell that you want. Today I'm using peppermint because I love that fresh Fresh, minty smell of peppermint and also we're close to Christmas since so I thought it'd be a little fun Christmas scent but you can use any scent of essential oil that you want you can use one essential oil or you can even use a blend of oils over on the blog I shared several different blends so if you want to check those out you can it's kind of fun to make these for the season so you can make some that are fall scent for during the fall time some that are Christmas scent for Christmas time and then just you know fresh ones or floral ones or a citrus one you can really go any direction with this so that's kind of fun and then I have lots of different add-ins that you can add into these now of course you can just leave them plain with the wax and the essential oil that'll make them smell really nice and do their job but if you want to make them look prettier you can add in things like these are some like juniper berries I have some dried clove I also have some dried flowers um, dried fruit like cranberries or oranges or even just some cinnamon like cinnamon sticks or just fresh ground cinnamon whatever you want to kind of decorate them you can even put um, candy pieces in there like candy cane for the peppermint one just really whatever you want to do but like I said you can leave them completely just the wax and the scent if you just want to get this done and you're not worried about how they look and then also you can pick whatever type of mold that you want to use to make the shape of these so I have some little circle ones I have some heart ones you could also use some star shape ones really whatever shape that you want again that's how up to you and then I have some string here because I'm going to put string around mine so I can hang these if you want to make one for your car that you want to hang around your mirror or if you don't want to do string you can even just lay these in places these are really good to put inside of a dresser drawer or something like that to freshen it but if you want it to hang then you can get some string to hang it with so all you need is a double boiler and I'm just gonna turn this on I'm gonna add my wax into here I'm gonna do one cup of soy wax and then I'm gonna do about a half of a cup of beeswax. Now you can make any amount of this that you want. So once everything is melted, I'll, I'll come back and I will show you how to make the rest of this air refreshener. Okay, so after the ingredients were melted, I just removed them from the heat and I had placed the bowl here on this hot pad and I'm letting them cool slightly before I add in the essential oils. So it's been sitting out for just a couple minutes. Obviously, we don't want it to cool completely because it's going to harden back up. So like I said, I'm using peppermint and for this amount of wax, which is a cup and a half, I'm gonna use a tablespoon of essential oils and so I'm just gonna take my little dropper top off here and just pour this in. And this is about a tablespoon left of my peppermint then we're just going to stir this up to make sure all the essential oils are getting mixed in with the wax once all of the essential oils are mixed in with the wax it's time to pour them into our molds and like i said you can use any mold that you want i'm going to do a couple of each here so um, these heart molds you can see are very deep and you don't need them to be that deep just make a layer about a quarter of an inch of the mixture on the bottom that's plenty thick for these air fresheners and then I'm going to pour some into my circle wax as well. You want to allow these to harden slightly before adding in whatever decorations you want that'll just help for everything not to sink straight to the bottom but just to stay kind of on that top layer so I'll let this sit for just a minute and then I'll add in my ingredients here on top and then if you are planning on making it to where a string 
or hemp or something can go through it to hang these. You could take a toothpick or a bamboo skewer or something like that, or even just a pen or a pencil or something, and you can, once it's hardened again, after you put your ingredients in, you're just gonna place it into the spot where you want it. So I put it kind of on one end and stick it in there to make the hole, and then you'll be able to string your string through once it's all dry. So then we'll let them harden completely and then you can pop them out, add your string, and then you can hang these wherever you want. Like I said, this would make a good car freshener or you can also just lay them in a drawer to freshen drawers or in the bathroom or wherever you want to freshen the air. Now these last for a really long time. The scent will last for up to a few months, um, sometimes even longer depending on the amount of essential oils you use and the brand of oils you use. But if they start to fade a little bit and you want some more scent in there, you can just add a couple drops of essential oil right there on top. And these would make a really fun, easy Christmas gift or birthday gift for somebody this year on your list. If you're new to essential oils, be sure to check out my description box below. I have lots of free eBooks and also a masterclass just to give you some more education on essential oils. And also I have some links down there so to some more videos with some great DIY gift ideas. And if you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I get out new videos every week on essential oil education. I share lots of different natural remedies and healthy recipes. Thank you so much for stopping by and see you in the next video.